Hey, kids, what time is it? Date, Sunday, November 13th, 1955, 7.01 a.m. Last night's time travel experiment was apparently a complete success. Lightning struck the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m., sending the necessary 1.21 gigawatts into the time vehicle, which vanished in a brilliant flash of light, leaving a pair of fire trails behind. I therefore assume that Marty and the time vehicle were transported forward through time into the year 1985. After that, after that, I can't recall what happened. In fact, I don't even remember how I got home. Perhaps the gigawatt discharge, coupled with the temporal displacement field generated by the time vehicle, caused a disruption of my own brain waves, resulting in a condition of momentary amnesia. Indeed, I now recall that moments after the time vehicle disappeared into the future, oh, I saw a vision of Marty say he had come back from the future. Oh. Hey, Doc. Undoubtedly, this was some sort of a digital Doc. image. Doc! <laughs> Calm down, okay? Just calm down. It's me. It's Marty. No, it can't be you. I sent you back to the future. Okay, that's right, but I came back again. I came back from the future. Don't you remember last night? You fainted. I brought you home. This can't be happening. You can't be here. It doesn't make sense for you to be here. I refuse to believe that you are here. <laughs> To run into your other self. My other self? Yes! Remember, your mother is at that exact same dance with you. Yeah! Right. This can get heavy, Doc. Marty, whatever happens, you must not let your other self see the consequences could be disastrous. Excuse me, sir. Yes, you're the hat. Me? Yes. Yeah. See a power handy a five eight in that toolbox? Five eight? Uh. Don't you mean three quarters? Why, uh, you're right. I presume you're conducting some sort of weather experiment. Shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards, Stannon! And it pointed straight at your head! <laughs>